It's Rajna Khan's birthday. So in honor of that, I am watching his classic film, Basha. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Basha. Mani Basha. Basha. If you're new to Pardee's Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and Hindi cinema. I had never seen Basha, and I was told if you if you want to see like Rajnikanth in his prime, this is a 1995 film directed by Suresh Krishna. Rajnikanth was already a superstar, but this film has become a cult classic film. I had never seen it before. It was actually re-released this week in Boston, of all places, shown again on the big screen, which I think this is awesome. I did not have the best subtitles <laughs> to, for this film, unfortunately, but I still got the full impact of Rajakant's performance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, this movie is so crazy and how he turns it on a dime. The whole first half, he's avoiding fights. Like, it's Rajnikant. You're expecting him to get into a fist fight in the first five minutes. And he he is an auto rickshaw driver and he is avoiding. If he sees a fight happening, he doesn't go towards it. He drives, drives away. And then, of course, I'm not spoiling anything. This movie has been out for so many years. But that, that iconic scene of him being tied to the pole and taking the beating. <laughs> wow. I can only imagine the impact of the first fans seeing that scene and just waiting for expecting Rajakat to explode, to break his bonds and like go crazy. And he doesn't. I mean, he's, he's defiant, but he doesn't do what you expect superstar Rajnikanth to do. And I, that's, I loved it. So we had all of that, even from the opening credits, that negative image. We know there's some kind of double role, something's going on. How Rajnikanth can transform from the easygoing auto rickshaw driver who loves everybody to, and just like, in a few steps of walking, just immediately take on the mantle of Basha the Don. Amazing. <laughs> like only a really, I don't know, something about a superstar actor who you have all these expectations and he comes with all of that image and aura around him, but it's also just Rajakanth, the actor who can turn it on a dime like that and have the presence to carry off a scene like the wedding scene where he just, he's not in his Basha Don kind of outfit. He's in his humble auto rickshaw outfit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the father of the bride is kissing his hand because he just has the aura in the presence of Basha. <laughs> wow. Some of the fight scenes are a little bit crazy for modern day, but I, what I absolutely loved were a couple of the songs. There's one in the first half and then one towards the end. The first one is Alagu Alagu, where Nagma is Priya. She, she has fallen in love with his auto rickshaw driver and she is imagining him everywhere. And I, that must have just been a blast for them to think of all of the funny places where she could see a policeman, you know, directing traffic or a school crossing guard or a doorman. Like it was such a riot to watch that. It just fun because it was from her perspective, her fantasy of like, I'm seeing him everywhere. And right after the wedding scene, we have that Tanga Maga song where she she sees him as her knight in shining armor. And it's he's in all of these sort of hero kind of iconic archetype kind of outfits of different kinds of heroes, warrior, chic, like just all different kinds of romantic tropes. I absolutely adored that song. I mean, the music was just great on its own, uh, but it's just, just the picturization of both of those songs I thought was just super fun and entertaining. 
I can understand why this film is a cult classic. It has so many iconic moments, great acting, and also a great villain. When you have somebody as powerful as Rajnikant in the hero role, you really, to balance the film, you have to have somebody great playing the villain. There's sort of two villains, but the big bad is Raghavara as Mark Antony, and wow <laughs> he just i don't know there's like the, the voice and the whole thing he just he had the presence to go opposite rajnikant in all of those flashback scenes wow yeah he was great so i really loved the whole setup it was just really different i mean it was some of the same elements that we've seen in some in other movies but just the way it was put together there were some really interesting hammer shots and things too and transitions I just, I, I can understand, again, why this film has carried on because there's just something special about it, especially Rajnikanth <laughs> and all of those iconic lines, all of those great dialogues. I absolutely love this film. Thank you to the people who recommended me that I watch this one. Happy birthday, Rajnikanth. I am looking forward so much to your next film and being able to see you on the big screen again. Let me know your feelings about Basha. What was it like the first time that you saw it? I only wish I could have seen it in a theater with everyone screaming and whistling and hooting and hollering around me. It must have been incredible. It was re-released, digitally re-released a couple of years ago. So what was it like? Were you able to see it in the theater? with the new digital remaster. I would have loved to know what that was like. Follow me on Twitter at PardaisyYT. Subscribe here to Pardaisy Reviews. And if you hit the bell when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.